babes, welcome back. I hope you're all so well. So today I want to talk about luxury items I cannot live without and basically this is going to be a little bit of a favorites video. I never do these here on my channel. Um, I did them way, way, way back when when I first started my channel, but I feel like they never really did well, so that's why I stopped doing them. But I wanted to sit down today and just talk about random products that are considered luxury because they're up there in price um, that I just love and that I literally could not live without. So I hope you guys enjoy this video today. Grab yourself something to drink. I hope that this is like a little chill, um, relaxing video for you guys because honestly, that's what I love to watch. Like when I'm watching YouTube videos, I like to watch things where I can just sit back, drink a cup of coffee or tea, and just like relax, you know what I mean? And like find new things that I might want to buy or that I want to check out or that I haven't heard about. So um, yeah, those are my favorite videos to watch. So I just wanted to sit down today and film one of those and just show you some of the products that I love and that I feel like I need in my life. We have a variety of things. We have a bag, we have honey, we have lots of different things. So anyways, um, I'm just going to stop rambling and let's just, let's jump right into it. Okay, starting off with number one, which is something that I've talked about a lot here on my channel, and that is a silk pillowcase, okay? So this one is from Lily Silk. They actually sent me a really nice package. Um, this shirt that I'm wearing right now is also from Lily Silk, which it's probably my new favorite top. It is so classy, so chic, so beautiful. It feels so soft. Like their products are just amazing. Like it feels so, so soft. I'll show you what else they sent me in a minute. But anyways, let's go back to the pillowcase. So if you don't know, like I've talked about this so many times here on my channel, but I always, always, always sleep on a silk pillowcase. It's so much better for you. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys why. And a lot of you probably already know this, but for those of you who don't, you need to get yourself a silk pillowcase, okay? Um, I'm not just saying this because they sent this to me. Like I said, I've talked about this so many times before. So number one, I have very, very frizzy and fine hair. If I sleep on a regular like cotton pillowcase, it's so bad for my hair. Like it makes it frizzy, it makes it oily, like it's just not good. And I get a lot of blowouts. So it almost like I would say ruins my blowouts when I sleep on a regular pillowcase. But when I sleep on a silk pillowcase, it prevents my hair from getting frizzy. It holds my blowout longer and also it's so much better for your skin. So if you're like me and you suffer from a little bit of acne, like it just depends on what mood my body's in, what I've been eating or whatever, but a lot of it also has to do with the pillowcase you sleep on. Like I tend to break out... Um, on the side that I sleep on if I sleep on a regular pillowcase and that's just because like cotton and all that stuff it absorbs all that oil and it's just not that great for your skin. Another benefit of sleeping on a silk pillowcase is uh, it's anti-aging because like your face doesn't get as wrinkly and like smushed. I don't really know how to explain it but I swear to god it's just so much better for your skin, for your hair so if you care about that definitely grab yourself a silk pillowcase. I will leave Lily, si Lily Silk linked in the description box down below. I do have a coupon code for you guys, so definitely make sure to use it. I'm going to pop it on the screen right now, and then I'm also going to put it in the description box. But yeah, I would definitely highly recommend to get yourself a silk pillowcase. It's something that I could never, ever, ever live without. So I actually have a couple of them, and I keep one in like my cam like the camper, and then I also keep one um, in my purse when I travel, and that's what I showed you guys before. Like I just like taking one with me so that when I get to like a hotel, or something like that, I can pop on um, the silk pillowcase just because, like I said, it's better for your hair and all that stuff. Uh, let me show you guys what else Lily Silk sent me. Oh my god, I'm knocking everything down. Um, they sent me this really, really cute sports bra. Look at this. Uh, very, very happy with this. What I love about it is that it's so thin and stretchy like you literally can't even see it underneath clothes i go to the gym a lot so this is absolutely perfect and it's so so comfortable like it's so comfortable it makes your tatas like nice and secure in there when you're in the gym working out so really love this i mean i can't even explain the material to you like how soft and luxurious this feels absolutely fantastic also lily silk they have like um pajamas. I mean, they have like a variety of things. So definitely make sure to check them out. And then, yeah, like I said, they also sent me this shirt, which is so soft, so soft, so pretty. It's just like a basic black silk 
shirt, but it looks very sophisticated. It's like great for work, like anything office related, even for like a little brunch with your girls or a night out, anything like that. Um, yeah, like I said, love their products. They're so soft, silky, beautiful, luxurious. Definitely check them out. Again, I will leave it in the description box down below. Thanks to Lily Silk for sending me this stuff. Okay, moving on to the next item, um, which is this Dior choker. And if you watch a lot of my videos, then you know ever since I bought this thing, I literally don't take it off. The only reason I'm not wearing it today is because I'm doing this video and I wanted to show it to you guys, but um, yeah, it's a Dior choker. I love this thing. Like even guys compliment me on it, which is really weird because guys usually don't pay attention to that kind of stuff. And obviously most of the guys that do say something to me about the choker, they like have no clue that it's Dior, but they just like, I guess like the way it looks, but it's so cool. I, I almost feel like it's like my little trademark now. Like I never, I never not wear it. And where I live, I um, I don't see a lot of girls with it. Maybe if I lived like in LA or New York or somewhere like busier where there was more like like fashion that was like a little more fashion forward, maybe I'd see more people with it. I'm sure some people have it here, but like I just don't go out or like go to a restaurant or whatever and see like a bunch of girls wearing this choker. So I love it because it's kind of unique in a way. Um, again, on the internet and other places, people probably wear it more, but yeah, I just love it. I love the look of it. Definitely so glad I bought it. One of my absolute favorites. If you've been on the fence with it, like definitely go and get it. It's so cool. Um, moving on to uh, number three, number three, um, this fragrance right here. So this is a newer fragrance from Gucci, but my point is like I always need to have like a nice perfume and sometimes fragrances remind me of things that I don't want them to remind me of so I need to switch it up. So I went and got a new perfume and this one is definitely my favorite right now. I got a little bottle because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. Usually I'm not a floral kind of person and I almost didn't want to buy it because a lot of the other Gucci fragrances, they're not really like my thing. Like I love something that smells very like dark, mature, like sexy. I'm not a very fruity, floral perfume person, but this is so good. It's so freaking good. Like it smells amazing. I don't know how to explain it, but it, God, it definitely smells very like like something you would get from like a Chanel number no. five, but then it mixes in some lightness and some freshness. Like, I don't really know how to explain it. I'm not good at explaining fragrances. Just go and smell it. But it smells very mature, very sophisticated, not like young, teeny boppery at all. So I love this. Love this. Very sexy scent. Would not want to live without it right now. Like, it's so good. You need to go check it out. I also recently bought another fragrance that I really liked, which is Mugler. Um, I'll leave that in the description box as well. It smells so freaking good, you guys. Very, very nice fragrance. Um, moving on to this guy right here. So this is a um, little tool that like vibrates when you turn it on. I don't know if you can hear that. So yeah, it vibrates when you turn it on. And then... Um, I just use this to like contour my face. I use it every night and I kind of go up right here, like on my uh, cheekbones and then I go down like by my brows. But mostly where I like to use this is underneath my chin because like even I feel like right now you can see like I've been eating really really bad the last couple of weeks like sometimes I do that like I'm such a health freak but sometimes I get into these things where I just like these ruts where I just like eat like shit and it's not necessarily that I eat unhealthy stuff but I just eat a lot and I eat more carbohydrates which I don't think really agree with my body and so then I like get swollen and puffy and right now I need to drink more water like I'm definitely a little bit swollen but anyways God, Angelique, stop rambling. So this tool right here is so helpful because I use it and I, it, I like drag it underneath here and like that, okay? So I do that for like 15 to 20 minutes and it literally drains my sinuses. Like I'm not making this up. If somebody would have told me that, I would have been like, what? And it doesn't work for my mom. Like I told my mom to do the same thing. I don't know if she doesn't do it right, but she's like, I don't feel anything, Angelique. I don't know if you're like crazy cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs or what, but I swear when I do it and I sit there and I do that for a while and just like drag it down, drag it down my neck and my chin and contour on the sides, like behind my ears, I can feel fluid running down the back of my throat. It's like, it's like, um, like it's draining my sinuses or something. I swear to God, it's so good. Okay, moving on to some honey. So I'm obsessed with honey. I love honey. Anytime I go anywhere, I always like farmer's market, like anywhere if I'm in a new city and we're going to like a little market or something like I need to always buy the honey, like any and every honey. I love honey, but this is Manuka honey. If you don't know the benefits of Manuka honey, you need to pause this video, Google it, and then come back to this video. But 
I love Manuka honey. It's really, really good for you. Has a lot of great benefits. Some people use it on their skin as like a mask or they put it on their lips or so many different options like uses. Uh, I personally like to just eat it. I have like two teaspoons a day. Sometimes I put one teaspoon in my tea and then the other teaspoon I just eat like that, but it's really, really healthy for you. It's good for your gut. And um, this is made in New Zealand. It is uh, specifically made to uh, from like a certain type of bee. Like, I don't know, you just need to look it up. So, you know, I, if I'm going to start explaining it, we're going to sit here forever. Um, but it's just really good for you. So I put this in this video because it's definitely pricey for a honey, um, but it's so good for you. And the texture is a little thicker than your regular honey. The, the, the um, yeah, the texture in your mouth is a little different. Um, and it also tastes slightly different. It's very sweet, but it's so, so good. Moving on from honey to Tatcha, luminous silk dewy mist. Is that what it's called? Luminous dewy skin mist. Wow, I almost got it right. So I talked about this before, I think a couple of times. I have very oily skin already, but when I put powder on my face, I feel like it looks too makeup-y. And it might look like I wear a lot of makeup, like in my videos or in my pictures, which I do for pictures and videos. But in real life, I don't really wear that much makeup. Um, but when I do put a lot of powder on, I feel like it makes me look too makeup-y. So I like to spray this over the top because it just takes that away and it blends everything together and it just makes it look a lot more natural. Next up, I have these two guys. We're almost done with this video, but I have these two guys. So these are from Westman Atelier and um, they are a contour stick and a blush. So this is the contour stick. As you can see, I have almost completely used the entire thing. Like there is almost nothing left. This is so good. It was really expensive. I want to say maybe like 50 or $60 for this. It was crazy expensive, um, but it's so good. And now I'm like, fuck, I need to buy another one. Like this is so good. It's the perfect shade to contour with. And then I have this shade blush. She has other colors as well. And this is so good also. I love to use cream products um, when I do my makeup just because I feel like, I don't know, it looks more natural and it looks a little better. But these two, I'm definitely gonna repurchase and repurchase and repurchase even though they're expensive, but they're just amazing. Definitely worth it. And then last but not least is the toiletry pouch. You guys know the deal with this. Um, I did a whole video on it. I'll leave it in the description box down below. This chain I purchased separately, but yeah, it's a really, really nice little Louis item to have. Um, and unfortunately, like I feel shitty talking about it because obviously they took it off the website like they're not making it anymore. Don't ask me why. I feel like that's, that's another subject. Let's talk about it. Why do you guys think they stopped making this. Do you think it's because people were using it as a bag or what? Like, what's the deal? Um, but anyways, I really, really like this. So glad I got it. It is so perfect for every day. It's good for going out. It's, it just looks good with any and every outfit. It's a great, great purchase. So if you're like, hey, they're not bringing it back and it's like really expensive on the pre-left market, but you still want it. I mean, I definitely say go for it because it's, even though it is more expensive on the pre-left market, um, you know, it's it's really worth it. Like, it's a great, great bag. And if you feel like you really want it, like, I don't think you'll regret it. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Then maybe I'll do more, like, favorites videos kind of geared to luxury things, things that are more expensive. Um, if you ever want to see me talk about more, like, affordable stuff, Obviously, let me know in the description box, not in the description box, in the comment section down below, and I'll do that as well. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. Again, hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Yeah.